All right, luxury home buyers and agents, I have a special treat for you today. I am here in Southern Highlands. Um, I am in the Vintage Valley Estates. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the community first before we talk about this property. Um, so if some of you are not aware of Southern Highlands, uh, golf course is located in the Southwest area of town, just off the I-15. And for those clients who are looking for green, lush, traditional filling community, um, this is the perfect community for them. And it's why a lot of our clients purchase in this community because they love the lush greenery. Um, also, Southern Highlands has one of the most spectacular golf courses here in the Valley. And uh, there's always a waiting list to get in there. And so it's a spectacular community. Vintage Valley Estates is actually a gated community within the gated community. So yes, you have extra security and extra protection uh, with those added gates. Um, and so great feature here in the community. So we are here today at Nine Fire Rock Court. Um, this home was built by Monaco Custom Home Builders here in the Valley. They have been in the Valley for over 40 years building custom homes and they do an incredible job. This is one of the most recent homes that they just finished. They, they uh, completed a home next door. They've done several others in the community, but I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about this home today. Uh, first of the thing, one of the main things I wanna point out as we go into this home that I think is really important, and Aaron, if you wanna pan over to the right, is that this home, that's uh, three of the garages, and then you've got another four over here. Um, so this home has a total of seven cars. Also, there is room on this side that if you wanted to add lifts and um, add you know, another two cars in there, you could very easily do that. I know that's a very important feature with a lot of the luxury homes nowadays. Everybody's always wanting more garage space and this home has it. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to point out, Aaron, if you can kind of pan around here, just to one, show the greenery of the community, which I think is really important um, and how beautiful it is. Also, I think what's really important to, to point out about this house is especially if you have a lot of events or you've got friends and family that want to come over and visit, you've got plenty of parking space here off the street as well. Um, so you can come up through this portico share. And then of course, like I said, you've got the um, you know seven car garage included as well. The other thing I want to point out is you'll notice from the outside of this house as we're starting, that the one thing that I like that they've done with their homes in here, you know, most of the homes are very traditional, Tuscan, Mediterranean, that type of stuff. Um, but one of the things that you'll notice that they did with the home is they've added some modern elements to the home, even including the, the glass garage doors, which you typically don't see in Southern Highlands. But I think these are important features to point out because as modern and contemporary has become more popular in the market, we still have the clients that want that transitional product where it has a little bit more of a traditional feel, feel but uh, some of the modern elements to it. One other thing I'm going to point out before we go inside, because location is always important with these beautiful homes. And so I wanted to point out that we are located near or at the end of a cul-de-sac. Um, I've always found that clients, especially with families or kids, they like to be in a cul-de-sac because they, they feel like there's not going to be cars rushing up and down the street and that the kids can go out and play in the street like we used to. So let me take you inside. First of all, I want to point out as we go in the beautiful stonework. Um, again, you've got this portico share here that's covered. Um, we've got simulated wood tile on the, um, on the ceiling here. So it really adds to the warmth of the home. And that's one of the things that I think this builder does a really great job at it. Again, is blending that traditional feel with some of the more modern elements. Um, so it really appeals to many, many buyers. And I'm gonna take you through this gigantic door. Um, it's like 800 pounds. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> it's not that heavy. It's actually pretty easy to open, but it looks heavy. So I'm gonna bring you in. One of the first things I'm gonna point out about this house, uh, number one is over off to the right. This is an important feature of the home, especially if you work from home. This could be one or two things. Um, this could be a gym, number one. This is what I would use it for. Or it could be your at-home office. Um, I'm finding a lot of clients nowadays with out-home offices, they want separate entrances. And so this is perfect for that. This could also be built out as a dining room. If somebody wanted to make a formal dining room in here, then you have the nice doors that open up and, and you can feel like you're sitting outside. Um, but again, this is meant to be an office, which is really nice. The other thing I want to point out about this home that they do a really great job on is you've obviously got the really nice high ceilings here. You're almost at about 28 feet total in height. Um, but what's really important, I always hear this from clients, is natural light, natural light, natural light. Especially in these big homes, they don't want to feel enclosed or with the low ceilings and that type of stuff. Obviously here we've got the really big high ceilings, but tons of natural light. Also, I think they did a really good job. Um, you've got the, uh, the 24 by 48 tiles here. They've carried it all the way through out into the backyard. And the, what I really like what they've done is the big open pocketing doors and they've done it on all the different rooms. So you've got it in your main great room here. 
So this is, opens up out to the, um, the pool area and outdoor decking area. And then obviously you've got the doors open there and they go into the dining area and the kitchen. Um, and then this is going to be your downstairs primary. So since we're here, I'm going to take you through this way and then we'll wrap back around. We'll talk a little bit more about the pool. But yes, the great thing with this home is it's, so it's four bedroom, seven bath, seven car garage. It does have an option upstairs in the loft that, loft that it convert to a fifth bedroom. Um, but the really nice thing about this house is it's got two primary bedrooms, matching primary bedrooms. So upstairs, downstairs, or reverse downstairs, upstairs. Let's do that again. And um, so you've got primary bedroom downstairs. And so just imagine waking up in the morning, you're laying in your bed, it's nice and quiet, it's a beautiful day, the birds are chirping, and you hear that water running out there. And you can go out and take a quick little dip in your pool in the morning and get cooled off before the day starts. Um, again, you've got a really nice fireplace here. You can hang your TV, super high ceilings in the, in the, um, in the primary bedroom here. So this is about 12 feet is what I'm calculating. And again, you've got the um, wood inlays there on the ceiling that again, really adds warmth to it. The two things that I've always found that adds a lot of great warmth to a home is stone and wood. Um, and so especially in modern or more contemporary homes, once they add those elements to it, usually softens the home up a bit and makes it feel much warmer. Uh, beautiful cabinetry all throughout. You've got your uh, breakfast um, nook here or your, your breakfast counter and or breakfast bar, let's call it that, or coffee bar, even better, um, with your refrigerator and everything so you can put your wine in there, your beer. So depending on how you like to start your day, whether it's with a hard alcoholic drink or coffee like me, um, you can make your choices there. So I'm going to walk you down this way. Two things. So you've got a secondary closet here. Now I'm going to say that this is the wife's shoe closet um, and not the husband's. Husband's is going to be out there somewhere. But this closet is set up. So you've got plenty of room to hang stuff. Um, but as you can see, tons and tons of room for shoes. And then we are going to come into the primary bathroom here. Uh, again, they've really set this up nicely. So you've got two water closets, two separate uh, toilets. And then you've got these nice, long, beautiful counters, tons of storage space in here. So plenty of cabinetry and everything to store all your goods and plenty of space to lay all your stuff out. Um, obviously, standalone tub, another countertop over here. And then you've got your walk-in steam shower here, um, which is really nice. So double heads, you've got the rainfall um, overhead. And then I'm going to take you into the secondary closet here. And again, one of the things I like that the builders do um, is I like that they build out the closets. It's a really nice feature, especially when people come in. They want to see it completed and how it's going to look. Tons of natural light and additional lighting in here as well, along with all of the storage. Uh, you've got a built-in washer and dryer in here as well. Um, so that you don't have to walk to the other side of the house to do your laundry. You can do it all right here and makes it easier to fold and hang up or you just do like I do and you leave it in the dryer and then when you need it to get the wrinkles out, you turn the dryer back on. So, and now we're going to head out this way. Aaron, I'll let you go first. We're keeping the doors closed because uh, we've got a little breeze in here today and it's slamming the doors. You've got an additional powder downstairs as well for your guest. And before I take you up these beautiful stairs, um, I think this is like one of my favorite features of the home. They did a really nice job on this. It's almost like an art piece in here. I'm going to take you through the other side of the house and show you around first. So um, first of all, you've got a wine wall in here, which is obviously very important for those of us who drink. Um, we want to make sure that we've got that in there. All temperature controlled as well. I really love what they did with this fireplace here. So you've got the electric fireplace, which you find most people are using now in their homes, um, saving on gas, and uh, it still pumps out heat. Really becomes also a decorative feature because you can change the color on the flames. You can you know, increase the lighting, decrease the lighting, You've got your TV here. And then I really like what they did on this wall. So instead of using like traditional tile or something like that, um, it actually has a metal clad here on the front of it. And so really gives it a nice look. I also like how they incorporated the black and the really dark colors into here. Cause even though they used really light flooring and light walls, um, they've added the darker cabinets and everything, which in my opinion, adds a lot of warmth to the home. So we walk over here, we've got, um, Fridge, freezer, obviously, stay, all stainless steel appliances, double sink, waterfall countertops. I love that they added, the one thing you can never do too little of um, is tons of cabinetry in a home. Again, 
There's always some key points that I find clients point out or things that they're looking for in a home. Um, usually it's high ceilings, natural light, uh, and cabinetry is one of the most important things or, or storage. So you have this big, beautiful island here. Um, I love the lighting fixtures that they used in here. Again, you've got a beautiful th Thermador stovetop. You've got your um, pot filler there. And then, of course, your, your hood. French oven uh, doors on the ovens. And then, of course, you have your coffee maker, espresso maker, which is important for all of us. We've got to have that first thing in the morning. But again, I want to point out, and I cannot say this enough, the amount of cabinetry and storage that they have in this home is just incredible. I couldn't even imagine the amount of stuff that you could store in here. Um, but if you have lots of uh, supplies or different decorations, you like to design the house differently throughout the year, then you've got tons of cabinetry to be able to do that. I also like that they put this butler's pantry back here. So this is like an additional prep kitchen. Again, you've got an additional fridge, freezer back here. You've got an additional stove top and sink, tons more cabinetry, um, a hood over the stove. And so really this is, this is a great home for entertaining for so many reasons. Obviously you've got the big open doors that flow to the outside of the house. Um, and so everything kind of incorporates and, and works together. So if you have guests here, it kind of creates this natural flow of people flowing through the house and mingling, which I think is really cool. Um, and that's just something that really lends to the great architecture and design on this home. Um, but again, this is a great feature too, because if you do a lot of events and you have, you know, a caterer or something coming over, the caterer can do all the prep back here, keep the front of the house clean. And uh, for all your guests, you've got a microwave here. I love the new um, pull out microwaves versus the traditional swinging door. And then I'm gonna take you in the garage in a minute. Nice little place for the kids to sit, take their shoes off, hang their bags, that type of stuff. Now this is one of my favorite features because as a dog lover myself, and most of us nowadays are dog lovers, I love that they put this feature into these homes, which is a dog wash. So no matter the size of your dog, whether it's a little one, you can open the doors up, or a bigger one, you can put them in there and keep them in there so that they're not jumping in and out. But you've got this great dog wash that's already built in for you. Um, or if you, you know, you can put your kids in there. I mean, hey, nobody's gonna judge, okay? So if you wanna clean your kids in there, that's up to you. They come in dirty from outside, you wash them off here before they go to the rest of the house. Again, washer and dryer downstairs as well. Really nice size laundry room, natural light. I like to always point that out because in every room they put tons of um, windows and natural lighting. I'm gonna take you into the garage first and then we will go into one of my favorite features in the home. Nice solid core doors all throughout. Again, using the nice walnut finish on all the doors, um, which again, really adds a lot of warmth to the home. We are now in one of the garages and as you can see, you've got tons of space in here. I'm gonna say that this one is actually the uh, four car or five car garage, because obviously you can pull in two, you can pull in another here, um, you can park another car here. Also, again, as I'd mentioned, your ceiling heights, right? So you've got plenty of ceiling height in here if you wanted to add lifts to be able to raise your cars up. I think you could actually probably fit another three cars in here, three or four cars, just based off of the height and the space that you have in here. Also wanted to point out that they did add uh, mini splits to the garage. So not only is this garage insulated, uh, but it's also air conditioned that has those nice mini splits as well. And then again, in the garage, you're getting tons of natural light in here. This would actually be my gym. I don't know, call me crazy. All right, now we're stepping back into the house. Again, so you're coming in from the garage, okay? You've got easy access to the laundry room. You've got uh, access here. So again, if you have caterers, they could be coming in and out and prepping all the food here to serve the guest. Um, or you've got a big game night, big, big fight night. You've got tons of friends and family over and you wanna come in here into the media room, into the theater. Um, and one thing I didn't point out is they do have built-in speakers in the garage so that you can have music out there as well. But this could be your, your viewing room for the fights, the game, whatever. And again, it's, it's attached right near the kitchen. So easy to serve. They've got this nice banquet countertop here on the back. So again, they can bring in all the food and set that all up here and have a nice buffet style. And again, tons and tons of cabinetry. Guys, the reason I point this out is that a lot of times on spec homes, you know, a lot of builders will cut corners. Believe it or not, cabinetry is one of the things that they cut corners on because it can become very expensive. And so sometimes when clients are looking at homes, they're not understanding the value and, and some of the things that are added to it. They may look at the price per square foot, which I think a lot of agents in this market are conditioned to, um, but that doesn't necessarily tell you 
truly what the, the value of the home is. I mean, when you start looking at all these additional things that have been added, all the additional cabinetry, all the TVs, everything they've put into this home really begins to add up. And that's where you start to look at the price per square foot. And it's easy to, to justify that price um, just by once you, once you understand the finishes and features and everything that are into this home. So we leave the, um, the media room. And so the builders actually built this as the gym, which now I'm going back and forth because this would probably be, this would be my cardio room, okay? Um, so this is where I'd have my treadmill set up. Again, I could come in here, do my workouts in the morning, listen to the pool. Um, you've got your barbecue grill and everything right outside. You do have a powder room here. I shouldn't even call this powder. This is a full bathroom. It does have a shower. So if you work out in here, you want to rinse off afterwards, or this can serve great as the pool bath. Again, it's right off the pool. So as you come in, um, you can walk right in here, shower, rinse off, go into the rest of the house. All hard surfaces through the floor too. That's important. I mean, through the house, too. that's important to point out. There's no carpeting or anything in here. So as people are walking through with wet feet into this room, they're not going to be soaking the carpet up either as they come in. So let's take a step outside. Again, I want to point out they've carried the, the tile from the outside, uh, from the inside outside. And then um, you've got this beautiful outdoor kitchen set up, built in fridge. Um, you've got another sink over there. I love the little seating area that they did over here with the fire pit. Again, really great for entertaining um, because you've got plenty of spaces for guests to kind of break off and into their own little groups. As we know, that happens a lot of times with parties and events is that everybody kind of breaks off into their own areas. But again, with the natural flow of the house and the way that it's designed, I think it really creates people to kind of walk through and, and mingle a little bit. This is one of my favorite features of the home um, is the pool. And so, I mean, I literally want to jump in right now. But um, you can see, I mean, they've got plenty of room to swim laps. They've got a nice little area down there, the, the wet deck. So you can put your chairs and everything in there if you want to just kind of stay in the pool and stay cool, but be out of it and, and sunbathe. Uh, you've got the hot tub with the massive jets that are going on down there. You can see the, it looks like boiling water right now. The pavers that line the pool. And then I think this is a really cool feature that they've done on this house. Um is that they, they did this on one of the other homes that they built, and I thought this was really great. Again, they've added tons of trees and stuff along the back. So you'll see the house right next door, a little over to the right, Aaron, if you can come up and just kind of capture that. That'll show people and give people an example of what this backyard will be like once all the trees and everything have grown out. Um, it's going to add, it's going to just add to the privacy of, of this backyard. Um, but I like what they did here with adding the wood trellis over the top. And then what they've done is they've created this shaded area within the pool. I know you think, why do you need shade in the pool? But when it's 125 degrees here in Vegas, it's going to be 105 in the shade. And you're going to want to be sitting in the shade. You also don't want to be sitting out the whole time in the sun. So especially if you've got kids and that type of stuff, they want to play in the water. This is a perfect little splash area for them to hang out and play um, and still stay cool and stay out of the sun. So let's head inside. We're now going to head upstairs. We're going to head up my favorite stairs. And uh, I'm going to show you the second level of this home. Again, really nice high baseboards. You've got two by six exterior walls, all insulated interior walls for soundproofing. Um, and just imagine once this home is furnished, how beautiful it's going to look and how great it's going to feel. And again, I really love the layout. I love how they've connected the main living areas. Um, you've got your primary bedroom downstairs that's just set off here off the main entry. As you come upstairs, um, I want to point out they've, they've put this nice little area. So I've seen a lot of clients, especially for the dog lovers who have a lot of dog beds. This becomes kind of the dog area uh, in retreat for them. Um, or if they want their kids to lay down there, it can become the kid retreat as well. So you've got concrete stairs and steps as, as, as you come up and the landing. Um, really nicely done. I love how they did this. The lighter color, the white, um, which I think is really beautiful. I like it because obviously we live in the desert. There's a lot of dust. A lot of times you see dark finishes on the stairs and it never fails. Every house I walk into, tons of dust and, and footprints as you walk up these. So I think it's really nice to keep the home feeling fresh and clean. Now I told you about that second primary upstairs. This is it. So as you come upstairs, um, you've got another powder here. And you've got a, uh, another toilet in there. And Aaron knows I like to keep those doors closed. No need to see the toilets. Now, unless it's a really fancy toilet. And these do have fancy toilets. So 
I think I may give you guys a sneak peek on this. Again, this room, this primary room, is an exact mirror of the room downstairs. So the other primary bedroom that we looked at sits directly below this. You've got the second one upstairs. Um, again, you've got the nice um, secondary closet here. And then as you walk into this bathroom, as you're going to see, it feels very much the same way, um, exact same layout and everything. So again, if you've got somebody living with you, guests or whatever, they can always live downstairs. Um, you can be upstairs or vice versa. Let me take you this way. Now you will see the layout on this wall is a little bit different than the one downstairs because if you remember downstairs, we had the pocketing corner doors. This one, we just had the pocketing sliding doors here. Um, so this has a bigger fireplace, bit more room for a larger TV. Again, tons of counter space, your breakfast bar or coffee bar, wood inlays on the ceiling. And then I love this area out here. So the one thing I like that they did is they put a lot of balconies off of all the bedrooms. And for me, uh, my wife, same way, we like to sit outside. We like to enjoy the outdoors, especially this time of year. And so you can see you've got this really nice, beautiful um, balcony off the back here. You're picking up some beautiful mountain views. I can tell you in the morning and in the evening, the shadows and the views and the way that that light hits that mountain is so cool. Um, and you would actually see that from laying here in your bed. You would be looking right out and you're looking right at that mountain, which is really cool. Um, they did this beautiful white tile on the back there for the backsplash. And now let me take you to the rest of the bedrooms. Aaron, I'll let you go first. All right, so first of all, obviously you'll notice the catwalk here as you come along. Again, tons of natural light with all the windows that they put in here. I love how they did the um, combination of the steel cable and glass here. So it really makes it feel much more open. A lot of times they close these in with metal or different things, and it just makes the home feel uh, a little bit more closed off. But I love the way they did it with the glass. Um, got additional storage space in here. This is one of the additional bedrooms. So again, you can see that all the bedrooms are built um, a really nice size. So you've got three bedrooms up here, one bedroom down. You've got, again, all built-ins and all of the closets um, and walk-in closets. And then you've got a walk-in shower here and everything as well. Really nicely done. Great, great size bedroom. Again, high ceilings, which is always great. This is the fourth bedroom, okay? So you've got double doors on this. You could use this for a lot of different things. Again, this could be used as your gym if you decide. It could be used as, a, as an office. You've got a walk-in closet there, uh, ensuite bathroom. And then again, you've got another one of these balconies. Like I said, I love the balconies. Um, some people will maybe say, oh, well, the neighbor's right next door. That's not really an issue. Um, I actually did polar shades on my balcony. So I can choose when I want privacy and when I don't. Um, you easily raise and, and my, my uh, solar shades are on uh, a remote control so it's very easily goes up and down and you can control that so that you can add to the privacy there. The one thing I want to point out too is the linear vents. So you'll see that they use the linear AC events all throughout the house as well. Um, you've got built-in uh, fire sprinklers, again built-in sound system all throughout the house that can be automated as well. Same with your lighting, can all be automated. And then you come into this room, and this is your loft area. So again, this could be a really nice playroom for the kids. Um, you could use this as the gym. I know I would have a lot of gyms in my house, uh, but again, it just adds to the space. You could do so many different things with this room. It could just be a great sitting room. Or if you wanted to, you could convert this area into a fifth bedroom if, if you needed the space. And then again, like I pointed out with any of the other rooms, um, they did a really nice job here with adding the outdoor balconies so you can come out and enjoy the beautiful weather. And once these trees all grow up along the back, it's going to create a ton of privacy. Or again, just adding those polar shades here um, so that you can create that privacy whenever you want it. And also in the summertime, um, because this back of this home faces west, you know, those solar shades would probably even be a good idea to have out here so that as that sun comes down, um, you're going to be able to block out some of that. But one of the important things to point out, especially with the way that this home is located, 
you've got houses behind behind you. This home actually sits down lower, and then you've got the mountain back there. So even on that westerly sun during the summer, um, as it's coming in, it's going to quickly hit down behind those houses or shaded by that mountain, uh, which is a really important thing, especially if you're here during the summer. So anyway, guys, um, that wraps it up for this home. Again, thank you for joining me today. This house is just under 7,300 square feet. We're located in Southern Highlands Golf Club, which is out in the southwest area of town. Beautiful, lush, green in the Vintage Valley Estates. Um, just under 7,300 square feet, four bedroom, four bedroom seven bath, um, seven car garage. And uh, as you can see, the beautiful finishes that it has. So if you have any questions on this property, please feel free to reach out to me uh, or any other property like this. You can DM me through the uh, messages or just text me directly at 702-485-7755. I hope you enjoyed the tour today and I will talk to you soon.